Mundane Makes ASMR. We're gonna be doing. Okay, so if you saw the last video, I got the drone flying. That was pretty dope. But it was beeping at me the whole time because of the low battery uh, alarm. I'm just gonna hook up a bunch of voltmeter and, a, and an ammeter and uh, run it at full blast and see if there's a voltage drop. Yeah, bench testing. <laughs> If you're, uh, if you're not an engineer or a nerd or otherwise technically inclined, you might be wondering, what the fuck is bench testing? It's when you test something, but instead of testing it in nature, you test it on a bench. Bench testing. There's a whole lot. So measuring voltage is pretty simple. I can just, you know, I could actually just get some ring terminals and pop it on there and, and wire the, the feelers in current has to flow through the current measuring device which means I need some ring terminal probes for shit all of it yeah. use force be a little easier so I better get four of those yeah. And now we're stripping. Ah, oh, shit. Too small. People are gonna love this part. So we have our pack negative here, and that's going to our voltmeter in the orange. And then our pack positive here, which is hooked up to both our orange voltmeter and to our red current meter. And then the negative for the current meter is being hooked up to um, the other side of our plug. That, hopefully that connection holds. Woo! There we go. We've got our voltmeter on the left and our ammeter on the right. So this is our current and this is our voltage. We would hope to see that when our current goes up, our voltage stays fairly consistent, but I don't think that's what we're gonna see. Um, so I'm gonna turn on my um, controller here. Oh shit, I gotta put batteries in it. I hate disposable batteries. I wanna get rid of these. That's full hog. So full speed, we're running about eight and a half amps. And it drops down to uh, just below 10.2 volts. Just out of curiosity, let's see exactly what voltage the low battery alarm starts to trigger. All right, well, I guess I could try just adding one more cell in series. Uh, that would bump up the starting voltage. Hopefully that won't fry any of the electronics in the drone, but I honestly doubt it. And then the only other thing I would try is putting three more cells in parallel, but that adds a lot of extra weight. Uh, I wanna try to avoid that. I actually wrapped these cells myself just with my stove. Um, not terribly difficult. Hmm, interesting. Okay, beautiful. This is gonna make for a 14.8 nominal voltage pack. We're gonna get our pack negative. 
positive along with the positive and mirror. And last but not least, the and mirror negative. Woo. Test two, here we go. Check the props. Don't wreck everything, please. Here we go. Oh man, the throttle response is instant. We're already up to two amps. Four amps. It's more amperage than the sand meter can handle. All right. <laughs> We're going full hog. Holding strong at 13 volts. Man, that sounds strong. Hell yeah. That's awesome. All right, well, it looks like one more cell in series solved my voltage problem. Um, and uh, yeah, hell yeah. Those cells hold very steady at full voltage. Okay, so there's one last thing to test. That's the internal resistance of this battery pack. And uh, the first thing I need to do is to use an external resistor. In this case, it's gonna be this little light. Um, so I'm just gonna measure the resistance of this light using my multimeter. We'll round it up to 25.8 ohms. Just double check the voltage coming off that battery. 16.9 volts. Uh, you can see I have my uh, leads hooked up to master positive and master negative, so I'm measuring the voltage of the battery pack. And what I'm gonna do is just measure the voltage when it's under load from a known resistance, that being the light we just tested. We should see it light up, and then we should also see um, the load voltage on the multimeter. 16.86 looks pretty consistent. Nice. And naturally it'll start dropping over time. But we have the number we need. Okay, so I did a little bit of math and basically it comes out to our battery resistance being 0.077 ohms. What does that number actually mean though? Uh, I had to do a little more math. Uh, we can take our power loss at max current, that equals I squared R, and we get 7.7 .7 watts. And then we want to calculate our actual power that we're using, so I use the voltage at max current draw. Multiply that out, 140 watts. And then I calculated the percentage of that that gets lost. Um, and we come out to about 5.5% power loss at max current draw. Um, you know, that's really not ideal. You, you'd be hoping for something closer to like 98%, but, um, you know, it's something that I can live with because I have so many batteries, I'd rather be able to just take a ton of them out into the field and swap them out. We might be able to get that down a little bit if we, um, you know, we're using s soldered connections or spot welded connections. I'm actually not sure how much that would drive it down. So, um, if you have a spot welded uh, or soldered 18650 battery, let me, know, let me know what kind of efficiency you're running at. Uh, drop it down in the comments.